Zara Tyndall call out Meghan's fake pregnancy over interview on Mike Tyndall podcast with leaked evidence. Zara Tyndall, the royal family member and equestrian champion, has taken to the airwaves to make a bold claim. During a recent episode of Mike Tyndall's podcast, Zara alleged that Meghan Markle's much-discussed pregnancy might not have been entirely genuine. This revelation, coupled with purported leaked evidence, has reignited the public's fascination with the Sussexes and their controversial departure from royal life. Zara's remarks on the podcast suggest that there may be more to Meghan's pregnancy story than meets the eye. She hinted at inconsistencies in Meghan's narrative, suggesting that the details surrounding her pregnancy and the subsequent birth of her children could be fabricated or exaggerated. This assertion has raised eyebrows and reignited discussions about the credibility of the Sussexes, particularly given the couple's history of controversial statements. While Zara did not provide specific details on the leaked evidence during the podcast, sources close to the royal family have hinted at documents and testimonies suggesting that Meghan's timeline regarding her pregnancies may not align with reality. It's very clear the Tyndalls are trusted and fully a part of the royal family. Never forget that scene at the top of the steps of the cathedral after the Platinum Jubilee service where Mike physically stood guard over the Harkles and Zara distracted them with chatter while they all prevented a pap walk or other public display from the Sussex assuring they got down to the car and out of town so everyone else could go on to enjoy their lunch together. Meghan and Harry have zero accomplishments. Their only hope at fame was Harry standing as sixth in line to the British crown. And then they didn't even succeed in selling out the royal family for money. They could have just tried to build a brand that wasn't based on, the UK royal family didn't let the first nominally biracial woman to marry someone within the line of succession treat the monarchy as her own marketing tool. And since they didn't, we are victims of racism. Maybe if we all promise to cry for them, they will go the fuck away. On another note about the Tyndalls getting love while the Harkles get hate. The Tyndalls were hanging with Elsa Pataki. I remember thinking that Meg Layden probably hoped to get a beach picture of her posing with the Hemsworth brothers while in Australia so once again she loses. More interestingly, the Tyndalls seem to be reconciling Australia to the monarchy. It may be some optimistic reporters, but still whereas Sussexes seem to attract hate from down under. And the Tyndalls actually have made money from their endorsements. Mike and Zara are both charming and accomplished. Mike himself seems to blend well with the family based on how he played with Prince George during the Christmas walk and how he consoled James during the Queen's funeral. Can't imagine Harry and Meghan doing any of those. Critics of Meghan have long pointed to her dramatic claims, particularly those made during her interviews with Oprah Winfrey and others, as being calculated moves designed to garner sympathy and attention. Zara's comments add fuel to this fire, providing a fresh lens through which to view Meghan's narrative and further challenge the authenticity of her experiences.